And hello everyone, welcome back to another NIM tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the algorithm module. So to take a look at it, we can just import algorithm. There we go, so algorithm. And let's create three variables. A, which is an array for, of six and type int. B, which is an array of five, but it has values. So let's go five, one, eight, nine, seven. And then C, which is the same as B. So we can fill this array with a couple of values. So let's go a.fill. So this will use the algorithms fill module to fill this array with a specific value we choose. So at index one, so this is the index, at index one for two spaces, fill it with the value of nine. That is what we are saying here. So now if we run this, at index one for two spaces, fill it with the value of nine. If you wanted to, you don't need to specify these and you can just say nine. And now all of these values will be changed to nine. So there we go. Let's take a look at B and we can actually reverse B, B dot reverse. But we only want to reverse one, eight and nine. We don't want to reverse the entire array, only one, eight and nine. To do that, we say reverse from index one for three spaces. Now, if we were to run this and uh, of course, echo out B instead of A, we'll get 5981 instead of 189. So we reverse from index one for three spaces and we reverse these values. And of course you can do the same by just going like this and now everything will be reversed and not just those values. Let's create a new variable, variable D, and we can make it equal to reversed and then to open array. You can specify the array C and then one, two, three. Now if we print out D here, then we get nine, eight, and one. So what happened is we said, create a sequence. So reverse will return a sequence and take these one, eight, and nine here, reverse them and then make them this new sequence. So we said from index or from array C, from index one, three spaces. So index one and in three spaces, reverse them and create a new sequence. Now the reason we had to say to open array was because reversed is actually being deprecated. So if we run it like this, you'll notice we get a deprecation warning. So reversed itself is being deprecated. Instead, you should now use an open array to reverse. Now we can also do a binary search. So binary search through an array. So let's say we have a bunch of characters like this. And we want to search for character C. And this will return us the index of character C in this array. We run this, we get two. So zero, one, two. The index of C here is two. If you specify a value that does not exist, such as F, then you will get negative one because negative one just means there's nothing there. Let's create another variable. E and let's make it equal to one, two, three, four, and five and six. Now we can rotate this array. Let's just echo out E here. We can rotate this array by going E dot rotate left zero to the length of E minus one, one. So what we said here is rotate the whole array to the left, so from index zero to the last index by one value. So from index zero to the last index in the array by one. So now we'll rotate to the left and two will be here at the first index, or this, yeah, the first index, and six will be here at the second last index, and one will be at the last index. So if we run this, 
the array would have been rotated. So two is first and one is now there and it's just rotated once. And of course you can use this to say how many spaces or if you wanted, you can make it two spaces instead of one. So now one and two is here at the back and it starts here at three. And that is that for the algorithm module. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next NIM tutorial.